Hello everyone, what's going on? <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. This is Air Fry Everything. A viewer asked me to talk about the Kasori Air Fryer, uh, give a little update. It's been about four to five months or so, so we're going to talk about it while I cook up some chicken. Hopefully you can hear me okay, so let's talk about it. All right, so we're going to talk about the pros, we're gonna talk about the cons. Obviously, there's gonna be a little bit of each as I've experienced over the last couple months. Uh, and now, before I go any further, I am comparing this to what I've used in the past. So I have used a big, it's called a Big Boss Air Fryer. It was a 16 quart, it was a big bowl, and it had a halogen uh, light on the top, which cooked the food. And now, I really like that thing. It was very big, it just kept breaking a couple times uh, on the top, so I just got tired of it. And so we got this one. And so, with this one compared to the other one as i said that's my main comparison is i like the ease of this one right so i like how it has all the buttons how it has the functions on the side it preheats it's it's very easy on and off if i was to pull this out it pauses it uh instantly uh and i like how most of the functions too you can press it and you can get an idea of what you need to do and then you could adjust things as you go so you can adjust the temperature you could adjust, adjust the time and you see it right there in front of you um it's very easy very simple right um yeah it's just it's just the ease of use with this is is superb and it's so so yeah number two positive is the size it's not too big you know all you need is a couple inches out on the back of it and and uh, you know that's where the air is going to be blowing out so as long as you have that and it can fit on your counter it can fit on your oven as as we have and and then you're good so that is that is point two by the way i'm winging all of this i don't have a preset plan or anything so i'm just kind of talking from the hip because i think that's a little bit more authentic uh because if it doesn't come to mind then it's probably not a good thing or a bad thing um so what else it makes really good food we this is predominantly the thing 99 percent of the food that i make comes from here so it's put up put up good uh it's it's got a lot of a lot of good use it makes good food as i said i mainly make meat with it too some people don't really like to make meat with air fryer don't know why i think it comes out great every single time i said we're making chicken at the moment right now uh, we are about eight minutes into the process and it comes out crispy juicy the steak i just had a ribeye right before it comes out awesome so it makes really good food um so i haven't really dabbled with any of the other stuff that like fries or vegetables but i'm sure it does it does great you know it, it has different timings that if you want to compare it to an oven you can adjust for those for those things because it's an air fryer so uh that's pretty much the pros i mean it makes good food it's got a good size it's easy to use that's what what else could you really ask for well i'll show i'll share with my cons so cons so con number one is going to be the size obviously i just said it is you know a good size for fitting on things but it's not so good if you want to be making you know full-size chicken or even the duck and i made a duck in a previous video you could click somewhere on the screen for to watch that video but um i made a duck in here and and <clears throat> when i did the chicken i had to cut the chicken in half and do half at a time which was a pain in the ass um the duck was okay that came out pretty well but it's not so big you know compared once again i'm comparing this to my my air fryer, my Big Boss air fryer, which is 16 quarts. This is 5.8, so I knew I was taking a step down. But this is the basket, right? So it's not terribly big. Um, so for majority of things, you're okay. Like I can fit four decent sized uh, chicken thighs in there. Um, now two, two good sized steaks. So if you have a bigger family, this might not be the best option for you. Um, but you know, if you're cooking for one, two, maybe even three people and they're patient, this is, this is going to be okay. But you know, if you want to be cooking, trying some bigger roasts or anything, you might want to think about getting a, uh, an air fryer that's a little bit larger than this one. Con number two is actually going to be the cleaning. I thought it was going to be a little easier than the cleaning that I had with the bowl, which was scrubbing the whole thing, and I could never get that full thing clean, and the grates I couldn't get clean. But this one, it's almost as hard. Well, I try I have to keep letting it sit, 
<coughs> excuse me, soak a little bit. And then what happens is, and as you might be able to see, it starts to kind of cake up in between these vents. And it's just a pain to try to clean, especially with heavy use. Now, if you're not using this so heavily, it might not that be that big of an issue. And now another thing I really didn't take into consideration when I bought it was that I have to clean the inside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out for a second, but you see it kind of gets a little dirty up in there and I have to be able to clean that right or i have to clean that or else it kind of gets gunky and it can break again which we don't want so uh it's i have to get in clean so that's another thing that i have to clean on occasion which is once again it's just something else that i don't necessarily want to do it should be a little easier and it gets sticky and if you ever try to clean a gross oven it's the same exact thing and it's a pain um <coughs> Excuse me. What else do we have for a con? Um, con, another con can be, you know, it gets a little smoky sometimes. As I just made a ribeye, now I'm making uh, chicken thighs. You can see a little bit of the, well, me, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a little of this smoke coming out of the bottom. It's a little smoky in, in here right now because it's cooking off uh, some of the grease that I had from the, from the ribeye. And I poured it out, made sure whatever grease came off of the ribeye, I poured out and it's still getting a little smoky. So that's kind of a con. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> I, another con I would say is the design of the basket. And as you saw, I have two baskets. And reason is, is uh, well, a pro, another pro is, is their customer service is great. It comes with a warranty, I forget how long it is, but they're great, they'll send you something out if it's broken and uh, you just have to show it to them and, and then you're good. So what was happening with my old basket is that when I would pull it out, it would actually leak out of the bottom. There would be either water or grease, condensation, something would come out. And it's the design of the basket. And I'm gonna get some water everywhere, but that's okay. So I believe, I could be wrong, but water gets trapped in here when you're cleaning it and it kind of gets trapped and there's holes on the bottom here. And sometimes as I said, it gets stuck and it will fall out. So let's, let's see if it happens with this. So this is fairly greasy uh, food. Yeah, I can see it. It's maybe it's because it's not as clean as it needs to be in there, but it's all kind of on the bottom here. It's a, probably a little, a little bit of the grease from the chicken, which is not great. So when you pull it out, if I'm walking over to my table to put the food on my plate, it'll be dripping down on the floor. Luckily, I have three uh, floor cleaners or my dogs, which will clean everything that hits the ground. But it's nonetheless, it's kind of annoying and kind of a pain. So yeah, but as I said, I mean, I have two now, so. That's, that's that's a good thing, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the list of pros and cons. Um, if I had to do it all again, you know, if, if my budget was the same, I, I knowing what I know now, um, I would potentially get my big boss and figure out a better way to clean it because, just because for me personally, it's nothing it's not necessarily that this is a bad air fryer by, by any means. It's a, definitely a good air fryer. But for me, I like to buy bigger steaks. And you know, they'll be, you know, not that big. Something bigger than this basket. And I freeze them so I don't have to keep them fresh and I'll throw, I would throw it right in the uh, Big Boss and it cooks it right up. This I can't do that with because it won't fit. And I've tried, so now I have to wait some more time to let that, that steak defrost. So I have to plan ahead a little bit more rather than just being hungry and throwing something in. So that's kind of a pain, but that's personal to me. Now, this is not a bad purchase at all, especially for what it costs. It was, you know, anywhere from 70 to $90 or something along those lines, depending on if there's any deals out there. So it's definitely a great air fryer. Now, if I had a better budget or a bigger budget, I would definitely get a different air fryer. And uh, maybe I'll share what that one is eventually when I when I get it. But um, that's, that's it. So if you found this, review this four or five month after review helpful. Give the video a thumbs up, like it, share it with some friends if they're thinking about getting an air fryer, kind of gives you, you know, the pros and cons, no skin in the game, obviously, for any of this stuff. It's good air fryer, I'm gonna keep it for a while. It still does the job, it makes good food, but you know, the size is something to consider, how big your family is, um, and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, so that's it. 
subscribe to the channel. I got a couple good videos coming out real soon. I know it's been a little while since I've made one, but I'm gonna compare some ribeyes and, and slow cooking methods with this, see if we can do that. So uh, if you wanna watch that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell and, and do all that good stuff. So until next time, see you guys later.